Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to try and build a little bit of terrain. We're actually going to do it in the simplest way possible. We're going to use a height map and we're going to use a diffuse map. It'll take us seconds to build something that looks really cool. And that's what those images are. If you've had a look in um, the source images folder, there are a couple of images in there that we're going to use for this. And it really could not be much easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back into my top view. I'm going to make sure I'm on my polygon shelf. I'm going to choose plane uh, and I'm just going to drag a plane that sort of encompasses quite easily uh, my curve like that. And then into my channel box, I'm just going to try and square it off because the images I'm using are squared. So I can see that I've got 3220 by 2340. So I'll change that to a 3200. And I'll change this one to 3200 as well. Lovely. Okay. Then what I need to do is add some subdivisions to this. And that's going to give me the vertices I need to uh, manipulate the, the shape. So I'm going to go for 100 by 100 in this case. Which will be plenty. Okay. And then the final thing I need to do is just move it down a little bit. Like so. Because I'm going to raise this up. Um using a height map in a minute and I don't really want the plane to be crashing into any mountains. Okay, so that's that done. The plane is ready. Um, the only other thing I could do if I was doing things properly is I'd rename this um, to, I want to call it terrain and enter. Okay, the tool we need then to make this work is the sculpt geometry tool. Double click on that to bring up the options. Here they are. And then we need to make sure this is set up. So I want the sculpt parameters. In fact, the best thing you could do, first of all, is just reset the tool to make sure it's at defaults. And then the sculpt parameters, I'm going to go for pull. My max displacement, I want about 10% of what the width and height is. So I know that my width and height are 3,200. So 10% of that would be 320. Okay, so that means it's going to raise up about 10 squares high. And then I can refine it after that okay next thing i want to do is i'm going to go to attribute maps and i'm going to go to import and click on the import button and this will take me if i've got my project set right into the source images folder and there you'll see an image called height map which is this black and white image uh, the white represents the bits that we want to raise up the black represents the bits we want to leave alone so if i now click on open you can see that i've created a nice little bit of uh, mountainous terrain there Okay, once you've got that, you might want to refine it a little bit. So I actually do. I, my mountains aren't quite steep enough for my liking. So I shall switch to my scale tool. I'm going to scale it up a touch. About there. And I'm just going to make sure that my plane's not flying into it. So I need to move it down a little bit. Get the curve out of there. That should be nice. And that is uh, my terrain nice and built. The only other thing I need to do to this bad boy is get the um, diffuse map on there, get a texture on it. So I'm going to go straight into my um, hypershade. When the computer catches up with me, I'm just going to hide this bit because I don't need it. And I'm going to create myself a new Lambert. I'm going to call it uh, Terrain M. And then in my attribute editor, I need to attach an image to it. So click on the checker box under color, click on file, click on the folder under image name, and I'm going to choose texture, I do believe. There you go. And this is an image that matches the height map that we've just used. So click on open. You will then, from your materials section up here, want to drag that onto your terrain using the middle mouse button. Pop. And then it may or may not appear. If it doesn't appear, if it looks like this, it's probably because you've only got um, shaded display on. So press number six on your keyboard and you'll see some lovely looking mountains. Okay, so I'm now going to go back into my perspective view. Uh, oh yeah, that's lovely. And then what I shall do next is um, worry about my sky dome in the, the next video. So I will see you in the next video for that one.